in this video, we will be doing an interactive lesson on measurement. So sit back, relax, and learn something. Here we go. Time for the long jump competition. And we have three teams. A red team. A blue team. And an orange team. Let's pick straws to see who will start. The team captain who picks the longest straw will jump first. Hmm, it's difficult to see which straw is the longest because the captains are all holding their straws differently. Click on each straw. It's, I know which one it is. It's this. Um... Even though you captains are all holding your straws the same way, we still can't compare them to see which is the longest. Ah, that'll help. Drag each straw to the tabletop so that we can compare them. Now that's better. The straws are standing up next to each other on the tabletop. So the longest straw is the tallest one. Click on the tallest straw, then click OK. Which one's the tallest, Ava June? Um, the red one. That's it. This is the tallest straw. Comparing this end of each straw, we can see that the red straw is the tallest. So it is the longest straw. There is another way that we can compare the straws to see which is the longest. Click on each straw. When we line up the ends of each straw like this and compare these ends, we can see that the red straw is the longest. Since the red straw is the longest, the red team goes first. Better go and get the red team ready, Captain. Now, to decide which team goes next, we need to compare the lengths of the orange straw and the blue straw. The straw that is taller is the longer straw. Click on the taller straw, then click OK. Dave, which one's taller? The blue team. That's right. The blue straw is taller. Comparing this end of each straw, we can see that the blue straw is taller, so it is longer. So the blue team goes next, and the orange team goes last. Good luck, captains! Let's get started! Great jump! You've jumped all the way from here to here. Go ahead and measure how far you jumped. You can hop and make one footprint after another to measure the length of the jump in footprints. So that's about, um... Click on the arrow to see how many footprints long the red team jumped. One footprint, two footprints, three footprints, four footprints, five footprints, six footprints, seven footprints, eight footprints, nine footprints. So the length of your jump was nine footprints. 
Okay, blue team, you're up next. That looks like a pretty good jump. You jumped from here to here. Click on the arrow to see how many footprints long the blue team jumped. One footprint, two footprints, three footprints, four footprints, five footprints, six footprints. Seven footprints. The length of the blue team's jump was seven footprints. Which team had the longer jump? The red team or the blue team? Awesome. Click on the flag that shows the longer jump, then click OK. That's right. This is the longer jump. The length of the red team's jump was nine footprints. The length of the blue team's jump was seven footprints. When we count, nine is two more than seven. So the red team's jump was longer. What about orange? And now for the orange team. Huh? Oh! Time for the throwing competition. Okay, this time the blue team can go first. Great throw! We need to see how many footprints there are between here and where the ball landed. How many footprints long six, was the blue six, team's throw? Six, six, six. I know it's six. Drag a number to the flag here, then click OK. Thank you for raising your hand. Six. You got it. The blue team's throw was six footprints long. Okay, time for your throw, orange team. Wow, nice throw. Now, measure that throw in footprints. Ten. How does it grow feet? Six. Six footprints long. The blue team's throw was also six footprints long. But the orange team's throw looks longer. I've got an idea. To compare the orange team's throw to the blue team's throw, we can measure them by using footprints that are the same length. Let's take one of the blue team's footprints and see how many of these footprints we need to measure the length of the orange team's throw. Drag as many of these footprints as you need between here and here to measure the orange team's throw. Count with me, friends. on the arrow to see how many of these footprints there are in the orange team's throw. Close. One footprint, two footprints, three, three, three footprints, four, four, four footprints, five, five footprints, six, six footprints, six, six, seven, seven footprints, eight, 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 eight footprints, nine, nine footprints, ten footprints, eleven footprints, Footprints. Aha! The orange team's throw is 12 blue footprints long, 
And the blue team's throw is six blue footprints long. When we measure the throws using the same size footprints, we can show which throw is longer. Hmm, so which throw was longer? Click on the flag that shows the longer throw, then click OK. Brooklyn, which one? That's right. The orange team's throw was longer. When we count, we can see that 12 is more than 6. So the orange team has the longer throw. We've seen that not all footprints are the same size. So using footprints to measure doesn't always show us how long something really is. We need to use something else to measure with. You've got an idea of what we can use? Click on the light bulb to see a better way of measuring the length of something. First of all, before I click on the light bulb, why was it not a good idea to use our feet to measure things? Jacob? We forgot. Why was it not a good idea to use our feet to measure things, Blake? Uh, because not all of them are the same not size. Not everyone's feet are the same size. Excellent. So if I needed a rug for my classroom that was 10 of my feet long... And Blake, whose feet are smaller than mine, went and measured 10 of his feet. Would the rug be big enough? No. No. So it's not a good idea to use our feet to measure. Let's click on the light bulb and see what's a better way. We can use a ruler to measure length. Ah, this ruler is in inches. So the length between each of these marks on the ruler is the same. One inch. Click on the arrow. One inch. Two inches. Three inches. Four inches. Five inches. Six inches. Okay, this is a six inch ruler. Click on the ruler to see other rulers. We can see from all of these rulers that an inch always has the same length on any ruler. All we need now is something to measure. I missed the fun. Looks like the blue and orange teams have already hit their balls. So they're both close to the hole. But let's use a ruler to see which ball is closer. Okay, orange team, let's start with your ball. Drag the ruler between this side of the hole and this side of the ball. We can place the ruler here to measure how far the orange team's ball is from the hole. But we need a longer ruler than this one. That's better. Click on the arrow. One inch. Two inches. Three inches. Four inches. Five inches. Six inches. Seven inches. Eight inches. So the ball is about eight inches from the hole. It's gonna Now for the blue team's ball. Drag the ruler between this side of the ball and this side of the hole. Since the numbers on the ruler go this way. We can place this edge of the ruler against this side of the ball and measure to this side of the hole. Click on the number on the ruler 
that shows about how many inches there are between this ball and the hole. When you're done, click OK. You got it. There are about 10 inches between the ball and the hole. But he's not a sore loser. He's still happy. The blue team's ball is about 10 inches from the hole. 10 is two more than eight. So this length is greater than this length. It's not only inches that some rulers use. Click on this ruler. This side of the ruler is marked off in centimeters. We can measure length in centimeters. The length of one centimeter is less than the length of one inch. So we can see that the number of centimeters in this length is greater than the number of inches. Click on the number on the ruler that shows about how many centimeters there are between the ball and the hole. When you're done, 20. click OK. You haven't clicked on a number. I I Try again. Like That's right. This number shows that there are about 20 centimeters between the ball and the hole. The player farther from the hole goes first. Um, that's you, blue team. No, he finally won. I knew it. Way to go. to the menu. We're going to stop there. Friends at home, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.